Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Knife Chats with Tobias. Well, this is something I've been toying around with for a while, and I'm going to launch this on a thankful Thursday because this really is um, me trying to say thanks to a lot of other content creators out there. And what I did is I approached um, uh, about five or six uh, content creators already. And my idea is to increase that up to, say, 10 or so content creators. So I'm, I'm still looking for a couple more people to participate in this. And what it is, is it's going to be sort of like a traveling knife thing. Now, for those who are unfamiliar with the traveling knife, I believe that was a concept that was started by Tom over at Knife Delights, and where he sent a knife out, uh, and it went along, and several people reviewed the same knife. And that's kind of what I'm doing with this, but it's a little bit different. And I have already um, contacted several content creators uh, back channel to, to get this thing kicking off because uh, I wanted to see if there was any interest in it to begin with. Now, the knives that you're seeing here are just an example. These are not the knives that are going into the uh, the um, the Rough Rider challenge that I'm doing, but it is specifically a Rough Rider knife challenge. Um, the first uh, person who will be seeing the knives will be Tom over at Knife Delights. No, yeah, I believe so. Anyway, he's going to be one of the people who will be seeing it. I don't know the exact order right now of all the people who will be seeing it. Um, but in any case, let me just read over what's going on with this. And if you're interested in it, and if you are a content creator, um, um, how can I put this? What will happen is I, I, I want to limit the number of people who these knives are going through. So you will be vetted. Um, the other people who have already agreed to this will also check you out to make sure that you are a legitimate content creator. We're not going to send these knives, five knives out to somebody who will just scarf them up and, and not pass them on. Um, I, I do want these knives to be rotating through the world of content creators and eventually after it goes through about 10 or 15 people the knives will come back to me they will get swapped back out and um and then we'll start all over again with new people who want to continue to do this or if if the same folks want to do it still we'll continue to do it that way too but I do want to get fresh ideas. So I'm, I, what I'm expecting is some people will stay in, some people will drop out, so on and so forth. But this is the whole idea. Uh, I'm going to put uh, five Rough Rider knives in a small UPS priority box. And this is the kind of box that the knives will continue to be passed around in. Uh, anyone who uh, agrees to join in with this will also need to agree to continue to use the priority mail small flat rate box. So this is something that is only open to content creators in the United States. I want to use this box because you can, it's, it's, we know how much it's going to cost for you to send the knives around. Uh, so that's the first thing. And what will happen is the creator uh, would do a quick review of the knives, you know, on their channel. Uh, and if they would like to keep one or more of the Rough Rider knives, they can keep them on the condition that they replace it with another Rough Rider knives in similar condition. And the condition of these knives are new or like new. So these are knives that, I, that are in my collection, but uh, they have really never been used. Uh, and then the person would then pass the package on to the next creator, again, using the same small or a similar box, the same small flat um, uh, flat rate box, priority mail. Um, the only condition is that the number of knives and the condition of the Rough Rider knives and the shipping method would not change. If people want to add something for the next person in the box, that's fine. But the box size and the number of Rough Riders must remain constant. So, uh, for instance, uh, if if you're the second person 
uh, getting the knives and oh, it's like, oh, I'm going to be sending it to so-and-so. I, I meant to also send them something else. You can go ahead and include that in the box, but you need to actually mark down that these knives, these are the Rough Rider knives that are part of the pass along. So these knives have to be passed along or you need to swap them out for with another Rough Rider. Uh, so as it says here, in other words, if I sent out three Rough Rider trappers, so here's three Rough Rider trappers, okay? And uh, two Rough Rider canoes. Here's two Rough Rider canoes. So I throw those in the box. I ship them to the first person in the list. And the person who gets the knives goes, oh, wow, I have been looking for this trapper for the longest time. I I really want this trapper. I'm going to keep this trapper. And uh, here's the Moonshiner canoe. That's another knife that I wanted to keep. So if they want to keep both of those knives and they have other Rough Riders that are in similar condition so again like new condition and they can say all right oh i've got these two uh stockmans that i like but i'm not crazy about so i'll go ahead and throw in the uh the the moonshiner uh sow belly and i'll throw in the uh what is this one this is the uh brotherhood of vietnam um stockman and I'm going to pass those on. So that's what they would do. They could keep these two knives as long as they added two other knives. That's the, the whole plan. So the next person will also get five knives. Um, and then basically when I run out of uh, people who would like to review the knives, the box would come back to me and I'd start the process all over again. I'm assuming that by the time the box gets back to me, the five knives that I sent out are not going to be the same five knives that I get back, which is fine. Uh, the knives I'm sending out are really for people to look at, review, and if they like them, they can keep them as long as they add another Rough Rider into the box to replace it. Because uh, we all have Rough Rider knives that we liked when we got them originally. They're still in good shape. They're, they're new or like new, um, but let's pass it on to somebody else. And so when the box comes back to me, I'm going to either take that same box and say, oh, well, I don't need any of these Rough Riders. I will start the process all over again. Uh, I will ask the folks who participated the last time, hey, do you want to go for round two? And if they say yes, then we'll start with round two. But we'll see if we can add a few more names to it. Or if some of them say, no, that's all right, I'm, I'm going to drop out this time, I'm not interested this time, then we'll add some other names into it and start another pass around with the same, you know, with new, another five Rough Riders. That's the plan. Uh, and the idea is not just so that I can get five different Rough Riders than what I have, because, uh, well, that would be kind of defeating the purpose of trying to pay it forward. The idea is to introduce people to Rough Riders and also just to show people some of the different Rough Riders out there that they may not have seen before. Um, now, a couple of the knives I'm thinking about adding, not the ones that I just showed, I've got this Wasp um, Sodbuster. I have this one. Uh, I've got two of these. I've got one of them where it isn't quite as straight down the middle. I will probably give the better of the two into this pass around. So this is probably one. This is in VG10. This is one knife that I've been thinking about adding to it. Um, here's a classic G10 Moose. Um, nice big knife. I'm going to throw that in there. As you can tell, this box is a really big box. There's no way I'm going to be able to fit all the boxes in there. And that's one of the things that you're going to have happen. What's going to end up in the box is just the knives. The knives will be wrapped up and they will be going. The boxes, not so much. So these are two of the knives that I've been thinking of. I've also thought about the uh, Vibe. I, bought, I actually had these given to me when I was down at SMKW. Uh, I know one of the people who are, is looking at going into this has already reviewed the vibe, so I'm not sure if I'm going to throw it in there, but there's also a chance that it might not reach him in time. Um, 
Um, I was seriously thinking of a glow toothpick, but I give glow toothpicks away all the time, so I might not be doing that one. But I did recently place an order with SMKW, and one of the knives that I have requested was one of these, one of the scout knives. So I will be throwing that scout knife in as soon as it comes in. I'm, I'm hoping to get this stuff in the mail over the weekend. The scout knife has not shown up yet, but I'm going to throw in a scout knife. This is one of the older versions of the scout knife. I don't know if I ordered the one with the amber jig bone or the red jig bone handle, but that's what I ordered. So I'm going to be throwing one of these into the uh, pot. Also, there's a new um, pack of wood handled bullfrog, which is a modern flipper knife. I've I just bought two of those. I'm going to throw one of those in the box too. Uh, that's that's my plan. I might end up swapping one of these out. I don't know because uh, I wasn't overly impressed with this, but I know a lot of other people are. So I'd, I'm I'm kind of curious what other people think about this, and I am really kind of interested in seeing what other people think about this other than um, the person who has already seen it, which is Big Red EDC. He's already done a review on that. Um, but RJ's Knives has not done one on the Vibe yet, and neither has J.O. Ventures. So they are also in this um, pass around right now or this Rough Rider Challenge. So those uh, guys are in this, as well as Mark Kaufman and Knife Delights. So... Sorry, Mark, I don't have a sticker. If you have a sticker, we need to arrange a swap. But those are the uh, knives that I'm looking at throwing into here. Uh, and these are five of the people who are interested in doing the, uh, the uh, Rough Rider Challenge at the moment. I would like to get at least another three to five people interested in joining us. Uh, and basically... If I'm familiar with you and I know your channel already, then uh, th it'll be re really easy for me to add you into it. If I'm not familiar with you as a content creator, hopefully one of these guys is. And then what we will do is we'll vet you and make sure that you're up and legitimate and uh, we'll get you moving into this group. Uh, and I will just add you on the, onto the list of who's doing what, you know. Uh, but the knives you see here and the knives that I have ordered may not be the knives that show up when it's your turn because the only stipulation I have is that five new or like new Rough Rider knives get passed on to the next person. And by Rough Rider knife, I really do mean Rough Rider. It has to have a Rough Rider tang on it. So I'm not looking at marbles or Colt or anything else. It will have to be a knife with a Rough Rider tang stamp. That's what we're looking for. Um, so uh, that is part of the deal. If, if you want to be involved with this, you need to be able to... Uh, if, if you're interested in uh, looking at five Rough Riders and you don't have a Rough Rider to swap any of them out with, that's fine. You just have to understand that you will be passing on the five Rough Rider knives that you received. If you have other Rough Rider knives that you're a little hinky on, you're not that crazy about, but they're in new or like new condition, and you'd like to swap it out with one of the knives that show up, that's cool too. It, Matter of fact, that's that's even better. Um, I really want to see these knives evolve and change as they move from person to person. Because that means somebody found a Rough Rider that somebody else wasn't too crazy about, but they are liking it. So they're digging it and they're keeping it. And they're getting rid of a knife, that uh, another Rough Rider, that they weren't as crazy about. Um, you know, which isn't a bad thing either. Any case, that's the plan uh, for this uh, Rough Rider Challenge travel knife thingy that I'm doing. Um, if you're interested in following along, I will have a playlist for these so that uh, as the knife progresses through um, YouTube world, uh, the new uh, review will show up and I will uh, obviously push and advertise it out there. 
If you're interested in joining uh, into this uh, Rough Rider Challenge travel or traveling Rough Rider Challenge, Hey, that, that we'll go with that. The Traveling Rough Rider Challenge. If you're interested in joining in with the Traveling Rough Rider Challenge, contact me at my email address uh, and uh, we will see what we can do about getting you added into there. Uh, I believe I will probably make the cutoff somewhere around 12 people so that um, the knife will get back to me and then I will start it all over again. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, I will talk to you again soon. Let me take just a second to thank you once again for dropping by and spending a few minutes here at Knife Chats with Tobias. I really do appreciate it, and I do appreciate any comments that you leave. So please uh, remember to give me that thumbs up, and also don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so you'll know when the next episode is up and running. Thanks again for dropping by. Really do appreciate your time here.